Hello everyone, this is Deborah Owens with another episode of Wisdom for Today. And Wisdom for Today is a show that, a program, um, whatever you may want to call it, that Bill and I decided to do about uh, two years ago. And we decided to do it during the time of the whole uh, George Floyd uh, situation. And so God provides us wisdom in his word, in the word of God. And I believe that if we seek out the word of God and seek out his wisdom, that we will receive wisdom to be able to apply it in our everyday lives. And so uh, wisdom for today covers a wide range of topics uh, from faith, family, uh, whatever issues uh, Bill and I are tackling uh, in the public square. And so it's just a platform for Bill and I to get on and share our wisdom on what concerns us and what is concerning those of you who follow us. And so you can't help but to cover current events. And so one thing that um, we try not to get involved with is going back and forth in a fight with people who believe differently than uh, we do. But sometimes you find yourself having to explain your position. And we have a Facebook page and I posted a post that I want to read to you about what's going on in Ukraine. How can you um, lead a national organization that's Christian, that's faith-based, and not see the atrocity of what's happening in Ukraine for several days now and not address it. And so I posted something to Facebook and I want to share it with you and I want to share the response of the individual who uh, replied. I said, what's happening in Ukraine is so evil and I'm reminded that evil doesn't triumph always. The Ukrainians are fighting back in a David versus Goliath situation. God is able to give them the victory. He can make a mockery of the aggressors. Our hearts and prayers are with the Ukrainians. And this went out sometime yesterday. So this gentleman writes on my Facebook, our cat Facebook page, the age of miracles, signs, and wonders ended 2,000 years ago. The idea that Ukraine can defeat the Russians' military is ludicrous. And so that's his belief, but that's not my belief, because I know what God has done for me personally in my life. I know the victories that I've had seemingly uh, when, you, when you believe that you are the underdog, or when you are the underdog, God can turn situations around. We have many stories in the Bible uh, with the story of Pharaoh um, and many others, but I don't want to talk about what happened um, back in the Old Testament because as this man is suggesting that, you know, the signs and wonders and miracles were, were over long ago. But I, I, I did some research and um, I found that um, Vietnamese, they were the underdogs, and they won several wars, several wars as the underdogs, which means they had um, uh, they didn't have a strong military as the other country that they were fighting against. Algeria beat France, and then this one was interesting. The USSR at that time it was called the Winter War versus Finland. Finland won that war. So we're talking about wars that have happened probably since this man's lifetime who happened to post this on um, my Facebook page. During that, that war with Finland, 50,000 Soviets were dead and 25,000 Finnish were dead. However, some historians report 130,000 Soviets were dead. And so... To me, that says that there is something in the people, like what we're seeing with the Ukrainian people today, that determination to fight for freedom, that, that tenacity, that 
faith. I also did a research and I wanted to find out, is it mostly, because I don't know, is it mostly Jewish country? It is mostly a Christian nation. Somewhere upwards of 60 something percent of the people in Ukraine are Christians, which means they love the Lord, could be Catholics or Protestants, but either way, they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so therefore they believe in prayer and they believe in the word of God. And I marvel personally at the uh, ability of those people to, many of them were not even trained for war, but from what I'm hearing from the news, we can only rely on what we're hearing on the news. What we're, what we're hearing is that 18 year olds up to 60 year olds who are not in the military are taking up arms to protect their freedoms, to fight against a country who's trying to take over and I just marvel at that. And I, and, I, and I think about us here in America, we uh, take so much for granted, number one, and, and many of us just stay in the, comforts, the comfort of our home, and we do not fight back against things that people try to push on us, policies that we don't believe in, or the Bible is against. We, some of us just say, oh, well, there's nothing we can do. That's what the people want. I think that there's a lesson to be learned on what's going on uh, with the people of Ukraine. I, my faith is renewed and I am encouraged watching. Now, I'm not getting involved in the politics of it all. I'm talking about the humanity, watching a mother uh, with her baby in her arms saying her husband has gone off to fight, um, watching lots of women and children underground, not knowing what's happening above ground. So I'm speaking from the humanity as a Christian woman and God has given me a heart of compassion and I can't help that. That's just the way he made me. And so I'm speaking from a humanitarian uh, standpoint, not a political one, whether Ukraine, uh, because someone else also posted that both countries are corrupt. I am staying out of that. I am going from a Christian perspective, a, a humanitarian perspective and I don't know what the outcome is going to be none of us know but I believe still that God can do David and Goliath type situations where the underdog can win whether it's your Ukrainians whether it's a situation in your own uh, on your job and your family the neighborhood a policy that we're fighting for, if we all come together, stick together, believe that it can happen and and put action to our beliefs and to our words. I believe that through prayer and sheer determination and faith that great things can happen for us uh, individually, collectively, and as a nation and even for the people of Ukraine. So I just wanted to jump on and say, that Bill and I are praying for the people of Ukraine, and we trust and believe that our partners are praying for them as well. So this has been Deborah Owens with another episode of Wisdom for Today. Please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and share this message with your friends and partners. Until next time.